Good morning. Just want to do a little video. I've been wanting to build a cheap, affordable, easy way to throw some bikes in the back of my truck to go for bike rides. And I got a Ridgeline here, Honda Ridgeline. It's a, it's a 2006, so if you're familiar with that vehicle, it's got kind of a small bed. But we're going to make a little bike stand rack to go in the back of this thing. Uh, I'm going to use some 2x4s, and I probably would have chosen just a, a 2x6, but I already had this 2x10 here uh, at my house, so I'm just going to make use of it rather than buy something different. So I'm going to put some, make some cuts, put some pieces together, and I'll show you how it kind of comes out. All right, here's kind of phase one. I've got my 2x10 cut to the width I wanted for the back of the truck, and then I've got a couple of 2x4s at 24 inches tall and just kind of mocking them up here. I'm gonna stick a couple of the bikes in there. I just need, I just want room to carry two of my bikes. Um, so I've got two different tire sizes. I got these, you know, 700s, and then this mountain bike has different size tires. Uh, I think they're, I don't know, 26s, I think. So anyway, sometimes I wanna take my boy or something, or, you know, wife's got a couple bikes up there. Um, sometimes we'll take those. So I want to be able to fit mountain bikes and stuff in here too. So just making sure I got enough width between these for the tires to fit in there. Those are 24 inches tall. I didn't want to go much taller than that for my truck just because it's going to stick over the back window. So that's a, that's a big deal. But I'm planning, probably just going to leave this thing in the truck a lot. So anyway, there's a, there's a first, first go around and we'll continue on. All right, cut a couple more 2x4s to the length that worked out for the 700C tires and the this this 2x10. I may wind up ripping this 2x10 and lowering it just a little bit just because I don't really need the extra weight, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Here it is mocked up though, sort of just standing in there. And uh, yeah, now we'll, we'll measure it all out. I'll get them centered and spaced correctly, get some screws going in it, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, picked up some brackets. Got an L bracket in here, and then these cross brace little brackets you can put in there. One on each side and that'll stiffen those up a little bit those are cheap at the hardware store too now i'm just using drywall screws because that's what i had but if you want to get all fancy and get some galvanized dipped or something crazy because you're concerned about it being outside then hey man do your thing it's kind of dark so i apologize but basically just pre-drilled some screws screw holes rather in the back of this uh 2x10 i drew some lines but the reality is is you need to really stick a level on this thing so that you know that these are indeed level and then just ran some screws in them and I'm gonna do the same thing for this other side so I've got this turned uh, kind of on its back I wanted you to see these right here I squeezed them a little bit together at the top so with the smaller 26 inch tires it puts just a little bit more squeeze at the back and also a little bit more squeeze at the back of the 700s you don't have to do this if you don't want but I think that's gonna just tighten it up a little bit uh, toward the back. So anyway, all I'm doing is uh, just transferring these lines. You can lose a, use a little piece of two by four scrap if you've got it to transfer these lines up so you can pre-drill some holes and screw this in. Here's another peek at that. I'll let you see how I squeezed that in at the top a little bit. Same way on this one. Maybe you can't see it, but the, the, uh, the top here is actually squeezed in just a little bit tighter than the bottom. I'll show you kind of why I did that. There's a couple of the bikes in there. And as you can see down here, squeeze this in a little tighter so it squeezes at the back because you do have room back here. And obviously on the 26s, you're gonna have some space, but you can, you can run a strap around here or something at the front. So anyway, let's take it in a truck and see what it looks like just sitting in the truck. There it is again from the back. Sorry about the wind. Here it is in the back of the truck. You can see it fits right between those little brackets there and there. And then I'll use those to kind of strap it in or attach it somehow. It's a little bit up into the window, but not bad. Headrests are kind of there anyway. So yeah, there it is. I'm going to shoot it with some black spray paint that I've got hanging around here. Just a flat black, just to match the truck bed a little bit. But heck, you don't even have to do that. You could certainly just throw it in there. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I know two by ten worked out all right. I I may eventually want to ripping that off, but 
For now, I'm just going to leave it like it is because that's the way I had it. I've got a table saw so I could rip it if I needed to, but yeah, there it is. Uh, all in, about $20 worth of materials. Um, I did have screws already. I used three inch screws for those long ones going in the ends and then an uh, inch and a half for the short ones for the brackets and stuff. But yeah, you can uh, do the same thing. Give it a try. It's a pretty cheap way to make a rack for the back of your truck if you got one. So there you have it. All right, there we go. There it is in the back of the truck. Let's see how it kind of sits in there. There's the spot at the front. Now I'll either, I don't know, strap it in, lock it in. Anyway, the black paint was just a couple of half cans of flat black I had left over, so it uh, should be fine just to kind of make it blend in. I don't really care. I don't care about rust. I don't care about the wood rotting. I don't, I'm just, just want to cover it up a little bit with something. But yeah, there it is. I'll stick a bike in there and show you. Okay, there it is with the bike up in it. Sits in there nicely. And, you know, you can strap it at the back if you want or whatever. But I'll tie it down in there so the thing can't come out. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do exactly what I wanted it to. Thanks for watching. Please consider giving us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Appreciate you watching.